So there is my stuck throw bag, 80 feet in the tree. If it wasn't so cheap, I'd forget about it. Alrighty then. There he is. There is my stuck throw bag. It's always fun to get up here and see just exactly what that little guy looks like close up. No wonder he's stuck. There he is, heavy duty. Throw bag, throw bag recovered. You know, I just have to say while I'm up here, it's not so much that it's saving a $20 throw bag, but it's that you want to call yourself a tree climber to be able to have access to all parts of the canopy. And there is no place a throw bag can hide that we can't get to. So there, I got you back, throw bag. This will be the destination of the next insect trap and also a recovery of Erica's throw bag. Alright, I'm up in this other tree. There's Erica's sling she set for the insect traps. And over here is where we're putting the next one and right in there you can see it is her stuck throw bag so we're going to recover that stuck throw bag and get out there and also hang an insect trap And recover my foot loop. Cut me up the branch. So there's there is my SRT line that goes down to a canopy anchor, routes its way to the canopy. And here's my DDRT line for the traverse. And now I'm ready to release my lanyard and work my way over to where I'll set the sling and recover the throw bag. You can tell there was a struggle out here. Oh, there goes your throw bag, Erica. Right there. It was jammed in there pretty tight. That is for sure. We got it.
In this case, I had two points, but they're both on this side of the tree, so I'm doing, I'm threading it through twice. I took a second shot, and we'll pull another, the tail up over and get it on the other side of the tree, so I've got more triangulation going on my anchor. This guy had a long walk to get up here. The base anchor is up there. It runs up through the tree, up through the canopy there, comes out over there. I've redirected back over here, down here. And I want to drop down so I can prune that branch right below me. Okay, this is uh, 200 feet of climbing line. There's a base anchor. It goes up and it runs around through the canopy, comes back down here. And this is pretty much all I have left is maybe 15 feet after all the redirects. Taking a good look at that anchor, and when you look at it, you can see that it is sharing the load with four different anchors. Much better than having double your weight hanging out on a small branch. There's one anchor set. Heading back down. Rigging for the insect trap is 80 feet high.
This one has a 100 foot tie-in point. It's a 200 foot line and I had to tie it off uphill to have enough tail to reach the ground. Should be fun.